Hello everybody and welcome back to Bessie Beneath. So we're in the main farmyard here and we have got the hay, silage and straw in storage and as you can see Chainsaw is just preparing to create a feed mixture. We've also just enabled the mod which is the um, animal pen extension which means you can just basically fill the water up very easily without having to tanker it you just have a main supply. This is where the water trough is but it hasn't been set up yet so all we have to do is just put this in a location which is going to be sensible. Uh, doesn't want to be hit by anything. As close to the sign as possible. And that can go just there. That should be fine. Hit enter and we confirm it. Open the valve and we have fresh running water. So much easier than using a tanker and not unrealistic either because you could very easily have a mains water supply. So that's the water sorted. It'll probably be <laughs> filling up for some time, actually. Uh, but we actually have an interesting tractor to look at today. We're going to probably lease it. Yeah, we have 42 cows. That is going to take a lot of water. Uh, just like the food. It's going to take a lot of food. Anyway, yes, here we go. It's by AAA Modding. It's the John Deere 4755. Just here. Uh, available on ModHub. I'm just wondering which one we should go for. Obviously, we're going to go for the EU version. Uh, I don't think we need to go for two-wheel drive. I think probably four-wheel drive would be more sensible for this farm. It looks very good. And there's so many different configurations as well. The weight is always useful. Especially if you can't add a hydraulic front linkage. But in this case, we can do. So that is probably going to be the chosen option. I suppose we could always reconfigure it later. I might just put the weight on for now. Hmm, depends. I, we could do some mowing with it, actually. We do have one more field to mow. I'll tell you what, I'll just choose everything that I want to have, all the different features, and then we will lease it. That was good. £5,130. Okay, so we're going to do some spraying with this tractor. We have the Cavernland, it's part of the Cavernland DLC. Uh, we can choose between narrow and standard tyres. We want to be on narrow because we've got some crops which have already grown. Uh, and we can go from 18 metres all the way to 40 metres. And you can choose many in between. It's impressive. Uh, I think we are just going to go straight for the 40. <laughs> we might as well. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be £4,400. It's not too bad. And I'm just going to get some fertiliser, liquid fertiliser. Two of those should be enough. And yeah, yeah, we'll probably do some mowing, uh, because we do have one more field to do. Well, the others have actually already regrown, um, but we don't need so much grass. We don't need to mow them all again yet. In the future, we will do. Good lights too. So yeah, the uh, 4755 by AAA Modding. We have the sugarcane field, which is actually a double crop field. We'll spray all of that. And then we also have the crop, which we uh, well, we have the one behind here. We have another one, the first field we ever harvested, way behind the main farm. Uh, right, which way do we go from here? Straight on. I think we'll have the power. There shouldn't be too much power requirement for this, too, too high of a power requirement. It should be fine. So this is the interior view, highly detailed, I've never actually sat in one of these in real life with the curved doors on the front, it's a very interesting idea, I don't know if it's just the road but I feel to be tipping a little bit to the right, it could be the road, yeah it is just really to show it up. Here we are. Yeah, and because it is a 40 meter working width, it really shouldn't take too long to do this. It's a very impressive working width. I'm hoping we might even be able to go over nearly all of the sugarcane in one pass. We'll soon find out. I think crop destruction is 
off. I've hit something. No, crop destruction is on. We'll keep it off for the sugar cane, just because otherwise it gets really messy and very difficult to harvest. And we'll put it on for the oats. I think they're oats. Turn the beacons off. But yeah, actually looking at that, obviously it's huge, but uh, I, I wouldn't really want to have I wouldn't have wanted to go for a smaller boom. Because that is just perfect in every way. Uh, and the tractor is finding it fine. No issues at all. So yeah, we'll whiz over the whole field. Like I said, we'll put the crop destruction back on again in a second. But let's just get all of this done to begin with. It's as high as it goes. It's a very tall crop. Sugarcane is amazingly tall. So that is the field pretty much finished, as you can see I've just missed a tiny piece there, so we just need to go back and do that corner of the sugar cane. But yeah, you can see my tram lines from here. That yeah, looks good. Looks very good. It's as neat as it's going to get anyway. Interestingly it's actually registering as ready to harvest the, uh, the cereal crop just there. But it still let me fertilise it, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, I keep calling it the cereal crop. It is actually, yeah, it is oats. The reason why we did oats, uh, I can remember now, is because the uh, you get quite a bit of straw and the crop itself is worth a lot. It's worth more than wheat and barley, usually. There we go. Okay, so everything here has been sprayed, everything's been fertilised. Let's now take this over to another field. We have another one just up here. Has that been done? That's ready to harvest as well. Okay, we're <laughs> a little bit late. Did field number two never get drilled? We just cultivated it, but we didn't actually drill it. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Well, let's go and take a look. I also discovered this little shed here. It's actually a very big shed, but it's really nice. At least that's going to really boost the yield for when we do the sugar cane and the oats. It's always worth it. Always worth getting as much as possible. After all, it takes just the same amount of time to harvest. So, uh, yeah, the more the better. In fact, I will go the back way past this shed, which we technically do own. If I just show you the map which tells you what you own, it is red. It's common land, apparently. So yeah, we'll just claim it as our own. We will call it our part of our farm. It's really close anyway. It's not going to be anybody else's. Yeah, it's like a back way. Okay, did that say one way? Oh no, give way. It's a giveaway. Yeah, it's a back way to the farm. Cuts a massive corner. We've been going round every time. What a mistake that was. And actually, there appears to be another shed just here. But I think that is... Yeah, that's part of that field, really. Uh, you'd have to really argue that you own that. Yeah, I don't think we do. But we do own this. We definitely do own this. It's a good shed. Brilliant for keeping the combine and stuff in. Or bales. Even better for bales. There is even a ruined combine in here. Amazing. In all the undergrowth. Yeah, so we should definitely use it. It's just around the corner. If we continue through here, we're going to end up uh, at the same place where Chainsaw is. That's the field that we cut in the previous episode. So, let's just see what Chainsaw is up to. He might still be feeding. Feeding the cows. They must have had quite a bit by now. Uh, 
Yeah, well, he's, he's nearly used all of the silage which is there. Uh, where is he? He's at the he's at the uh, the shop. Go on to the animals. Yes, they have all the totem extraction that they need. So that is all sorted. As for the straw, yeah, that's probably what he's doing. Probably sorting out the straw. So yeah, the other field is, like I say, ready to harvest. We shouldn't really be spraying it. But we do have a field to drill, so we can see how good this tractor is at drilling. I don't know why it was never drilled, but I guess we both just overlooked it. We're not running seasons, so we can just drill at any time. It's fine. It is a 190, I think, horsepower tractor. So it can't pull massive machinery, but you know it's not bad. And actually, you can put dual wheels on. That might be a good idea. I've been beaten to it. Forget the drilling. We will do mowing instead. Yes, we're not actually. Well, Chainsaw's not drilling. He's planting. Planting sunflowers. But we do have. I think it's fill number six. It's never been cut by us, so we'll go over there. We will cut it, and well, hopefully we can get a bit more money out of it. I was going to spray it, but as it turns out, the planter that he's using also applies fertilizer. Right, so how do we get to field number six from here? It's probably one of those situations where you should walk to see if you can see the entrance, but it must be over here somewhere. It's got to be. Yes, I think actually I vaguely remember seeing the gate. If you keep going as if you were going to field number two, up here, we should then see a gate for uh, field number six, hopefully. Not the cow field, must be this one on the right. There we go. Oh, very nice. Got all the buttercups as well. Looks like a really nice crop of grass. But how well will this mower perform on this tractor? That is the question, because it's not a very powerful tractor, as I've said. It's a fairly flat field, though. There really shouldn't be any issues. Oh yeah, we, we want to do... Definitely want to do swathing, I think. There we go. Yep, yeah, seems to be fine. Mowing it is going to be five, four or five miles per hour. Obviously, yeah, it would benefit from a bit more power. But, yeah, it, it's, it'll get by. I don't think you'd put one quite as big as this on this tractor in real life. But it goes to show what it can do if you push it. Not bad. Six miles per hour. Right, well, what can I say? It's done it. Even though the RPMs have been pulled right down in certain areas, it's still completed the job. Yeah, ideally you would use a bigger tractor, but this video is all about showing off this one. Showing what it can do. It can do quite a bit for its size. So, yeah, 
next thing is to head over to Chainsaw's Field and my plan is to actually uh, possibly mow the headland with just the front mower we can then whiz around it with a baler get a bit of extra silage it all comes down to how good the grass is how much grass there is as well um, yeah there might not be very much at all but at least we can see what he's up to over there looks like he's about halfway through and I think these bells will be perfect candidates to go into that new shed because it is better to keep the bells in just a shed than it is to keep it in a silage pit which is where they are currently so there he is with the Massey Ferguson trying to do a really good job there uh, right let's just get it started up not that one he's got the front mower looks like it's perfect just for one swath you go right to the edges here keeps it nice and neat is he happy? yeah actually I think he's really close to the end doesn't matter if we go into the hedgerows there, we'll just do one mower's width. We'll see more about what he's doing in a second, just need to get around the corner. It's not a bad idea that I think doing this, it, it's all extra. You don't even need a grass field to be able to create some bales. I know you're not going to get many out of it. You can see where the uh, the texture is different, so he has pretty much finished. And that is the field headland done. Right, okay, so we'll switch the awful folder up. And we'll go back to the yard. We're going to swap these with a baler. It will be the round baler, I think, so it won't take a massive amount of power. And it can also wrap at the same time. I think we'll do that field first, and then we'll move on and do field number six. And then, yeah, it'll just be a case of picking all the bales up and stuff, and then putting them neatly in a shed. We have the pickup with the flatbed trailer, which we can use for moving the bales. We also do have just the standard flatbed trailer for the lorry, but. Uh, yeah, the uh, the pickup one actually has grooves to put the bales into. Yeah, it's a good looking farm this. Always looks better with cows in the field. We have another silage pit there. Loads and loads of silage pits. So how well will it handle the baler? That's the next question. I think it'll be fine without any issues. I guess all of what we've done today doesn't really require four-wheel drive. We could have gone with the two-wheel drive version. I think, well, the way I've always looked at it is it's just nice to have four-wheel drive as a backup. Because you just never know. Unless she lives on perfectly flat ground, which just is dry. But then even then, you might need the four-wheel drive for extra pulling power, extra traction. So yeah, this will wrap everything at the same time. I'm not expecting much off that field, and it's actually set to 10,000 litres, so we might only get one bale out of the whole headland. Let's find out. Like the waves pull you down underwater We're fun until we hit the bottom And we do it all again and again and again and again
getting on well. So yeah, nice and easy, just up and down. Getting each swath picked up and bailed. And the chainsaw is creating a little stack just there. I've told him about the other shed, so I don't know if we're going to put them in there. thing is, it's a big shed, so ready to fill it. You want to have loads and loads of straw bales or something. It would be difficult to get anywhere near filling it, especially if we're making 10,000 litre bales, which is what we tend to do in multiplayer. Anyway, yes, just less than half the field to go. Performing very well. And I was actually really impressed by how much we got off the headland. Because we set to 10,000 litres, it didn't look like much. But, I don't know, it's probably like 15,000 litres in total. Impressive. Okay, so yeah. Just whiz over these, get these done. Shouldn't take five minutes. Gonna fit nicely. It is a good trailer, that it's a very good pickup as well. The whole setup is just easy. Uh, as you can see, Chainsaw puts these bells the other way around, he puts them on the flat side, uh, which probably is easier actually because then they can't roll. But yeah, personal preference, the option is there. Don't know how much we've actually got here. But bear in mind, each one is 10,000 litres. It's quite a bit of silage, which, if we sold it, would be quite a bit of money. But yeah, very impressed. Very impressed by this. We should probably lift the pickup up. There we go. Yeah, the detailing. Fantastic. Really nice. I think, um, well, it's obviously a design thing, not the mod at all. But having the uh, obstruction, the obstructed view is the only thing about it, but I guess that was make, that makes it unique that's what makes it interesting very interesting okay, we're going to put this away and we'll see where Chainsaw decides to put the bales should definitely make use of these sheds Anyway, I keep getting people asking me when I'm going to do ETS2 again. As I said, I'm going to do some ETS2 probably this month. Probably close to the end of the month. So stay tuned. But if it's not this month, definitely this winter I'll be doing a series on ETS2. I always do. I do only usually play ETS2 in the winter, which is funny. I don't know <laughs> the exact reason why. I guess I have a bit more time. Right, so we're going up here. Let's follow the telehandler. Oh, is he looking? I think he's looking for, for 24. This way. We'll probably have to walk a bit faster. Maybe not too fast. I've lost him. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just not that down to about times four. You come around the bend and you see this. Brilliant. It is that that is something which is nice about different maps. Having like secret areas which you have to discover. It's not even really a secret, but I discovered it today for the first time. Okay, well Chainsaw thinks it's gonna be better for machines because it's quite a long way from the cows, which is true. But yeah, we're going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please do check out Chainsaw's video. The link is down below. And as usual, see you again soon. Bye for now.